Yeah, all right, Cloud City, welcome on back to another episode on Black Myth Wukong. Picking up where we left off, we are ready to continue exploring. We just did our little meditation, got our spark points, spent our spark points, and ready to move on. Let's get to it. So I think this little yellow trail thing is like our guidance on like where we're supposed to go hey there's there's a shrine if i just would have recorded uh that last episode a couple minutes longer we would have found our shrine but yeah audio levels in the uh, the first episode seem pretty good so i think we're gonna stick stick with where they're at reignite sparks reallocate the sparks from awakened talents Ooh. It's a respec. We now have a store that we can buy stuff. Upon use, instantly removes poison. Removes burn state. Increases damage reduction. And ingredients? Yeah, general armor, general weapon. This can be used to make medicines. And more, more ingredients. Uh, okay, yeah. I think I'm good for now. Rest so we can fill our cord back up. Hey, wait! You don't think you can just parade in, do you? Damn straight, cue ball. It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada, so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Wait, what? What are you doing? Fly! What the <laughs> hell? It might be humble, but my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. So... Does this mean I could transform to this thing whenever I want now, or... I have to do it through the shrine. Yo, it was kind of cool. I have to do it through the shrine, or what? In the depths of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore, but be wary. This form does not last forever. Should you find yourself lost, just follow my voice. Off you go. There's materials over here. Okay, so I can detransform over. There's a guy with a chest there. Who's that guy? Might honestly get this. Just detransform and try to grab that uh, chest real quick. Another guy up here. Not no whoop that is. Seems like Hold on. what I'm trying to do. This is the fortitude of the mountains and the spirits of the rock this material could be used to craft weapons make medicine make medicine make medicine make medicine this way
Yeah, that was pretty sick. So you basically wait until he's out of stamina. Then you can charge him. It's this way. Oh. You seem like a boss. I feel like I should wait on you. See some materials down by the pond, but let's take out these wolves first. Yeah, I'm really digging the combat though. I did think about switching to R1 and R2 just so that like my interact go switches to square but I don't know with how how quick that we attack and stuff and like that there's not really like a weight behind our attacks like it's not like souls you know where you feel the weight of your weapon when you press the attack button I don't think I want to use R1, R2. I think I want to stick with using using square and triangle. Oh, there's there's uh there's something big. <laughs> uh. I wanna go poke it with my stick. Okay. We did get a spark. Let's go ahead and spend it. Mm. Slightly increased stamina recovery rate when depleted makes each initial dodge more agile and flexible. Each talent level significantly increases the engage distance of the light attack starter. Increase max health. I already have that and that. What's this? Okay, switching to pillar stance allows the destined one to support himself with his staff. It is sent to its top by holding heavy attack, avoiding ground attacks in the process. The more focus he builds, the higher he perches. If the staff is hit by the enemy while perching, more stamina will be consumed to maintain balance. Do what? That sounds badass. Oh, that's pretty cool. Moderately increases damage dealt to immobilized enemies. I kind of want to get that. We'll get this instead. Dodging no longer interrupts light attack combo. Oh, yo, that's cool. Okay. Let's go poke the big guy. Wandering white. Oh, oh, shit, that hurt. Okay, so he fucks with gravity. So dead. Yep. Oh my god, I got the heal off. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Bro fucked me up. Yeah, this is this could be a game changer having that pillar stance now. Fifteen on damage. Bonk. Oh, oh, oh yeah, dude. Night and day difference. Ooh. Night and day difference for this fight. Oh shit. You're dead. Only took me like 10 tries, <laughs> but I got you. I forgot the pillar stance, dude. That's all it took. Cannot absorb spirits without guidance. What? What? What's that mean? Ooh, increase critical hit chance. Blood of the Iron Bolt to achieve greatness. One's efforts must surpass the feat of a mosquito. Drawing blood from an Iron Bolt to cultivate a stronger spirit. This is what you need. for the spirit thing there.
I really like player. Tower level moderately reduces the extra stamina cost for maintaining balance. Performing a heavy attack during a light attack combo will consume a focus point and execute Sweeping Gale. Really like that. Okay. Check what's down by the river here. I think the progression is the for the bosses. Ow. Oh shit. XP for him. That is nuts. I don't have a whole hell of a lot of healing left, do I? Wait, did I not interview this? Let's get that. Who are you to talk? Well, you were a little lackluster. I was expecting you to be like a Billy Badass or something. I guess maybe I should have like roamed around and fought these things before I tried fighting. Before I tried fighting, uh, the big guy. Oh, shit. Maybe that's why the big guy took me so many attempts, cause... They're like, yeah, you probably should go around and, uh, you explore the area before, you know, you just... Go after this guy. Do what you want. And I'm like, challenge accepted. Big guy, dead. <laughs> Going after him before I go after anything else. But hopefully whatever the hell the spirit thing is, you know, we're in... Hopefully, uh, it's not getting... It wasn't anything like crazy that we're gonna miss because I guarantee now that we die that spirit thing's gone and he's probably gone. I can see one of the biggest things people are probably already bitching about this game because like I haven't ran into like reviews or complaints like i i literally have ignored everything about this game so i could probably already see people bitching about oh my god there's no difficulty level because i you know going through those settings i noticed that there wasn't one because you know that's what people normally bitch about whenever it comes to like elden ring and stuff like that I just want a easy experience. It's like no, no, you're you're gonna have to get good with this with this adventure. Sounds like someone was chasing after me. Where are we done? It's by the waterfall. Where the hell is the waterfall? Where the hell is this waterfall? It's not up here. But I am going to kill this archer.
Ah! Oh, shit. Okay. He kind of just did that on his own. Okay, I see the waterfall now. How do I get back to it? This way? Yeah, I want to kill a Billy Badass by the... by the waterfall. And bonk! if they had a deflect mechanic in the game like uh there's there's if you will but you guys know me i'm a slut for my parries uh da, 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 da. yeah definitely added out some of the failed attempts on that uh big feller I can already tell that Pillar Stance is probably going to be uh, pretty OP. And you got me through that guy. Uh, okay, so I think that's Road to Boss. Does this just take us back to... I think that takes us back to the Shrine. Did we go this way? Obviously not. Anything here? No. Nope. Unless if the like the plants and the materials respawn after you die. So yeah, this is back where we found Big Feller. So let's go take a quick peek see with the guy that said that we were interrupting his meditation. Kind of intrigued. Give him the good old college try. Hmm, another monkey I see. Hmm, another wolf Why I see. Why lay down your weapon and join me in this mercy? What say you? Um, fire. Freeze. Oh, you're up there? Don't worry. I'm at you. <laughs> oh shit, you just do that thing at me. Here he comes. So much easier than the fucking big head, big headed guy. I'll beat you first try. <laughs> the fucking big headed guy took me like 10. <laughs> Red Tide spell, as the feral flurry intensifies with each fierce thrust, the flames do rise, transform into a wolf guy, and inflict scorch bane on the enemy with each attack. Dude, that sounds badass. We haven't seen that one. Wait, hold on, go back. Weapons of valuables cherished by yo guys often carry lingering obsessions from their deceased owners. Collecting them grants the ability to briefly take on their forms in combat. Each transformation has its own strengths, making them worth experimenting with. 
Uh, might. Transformations continuously consume might and require a full gauge to initiate using spells during a transformation. Further depletes might, and once it is fully depleted, detransformation occurs automatically subsequent subsequently. Might will subsequently might will gradually recover. Okay. Oh bruh. Okay, this this is cool. That's cool that we could transform. That is that is uh that's very badass. What's this? Oh, so I wonder if Will is like your mana. I should look at that next time I collect Will, see if my mana went up. There's not like a character... Character page or anything. Moon on each tile level moderately increases the damage of next attack after a touch. Take me back to staff stances, man. Each, yeah, what is this? Uh, each talent level slightly increases the health recovery upon consuming a focus point. Each talent level moderately reduces the stamina cost of charged heavy attacks. Each talent level slightly increases damage dealt by all varied combos. Each talent level considerably increases damage reduction upon a charged heavy attack. That is good. Still think I want to get this maxed. As I do like Steel Pillar. Okay. That's where we came from. I think we go here. Wait. Go and ring the bell. This does. You just had to make some noise, did you? Now everyone knows you're here. When a chime so grand echoes in the forest, Yao Guais will surely be alarmed. Welcome. Okay. So. What are we doing? Going back this way? Or... Where are we going? Not that way. This is probably somewhere back this way. Okay, this is where we follow that guy. think maybe go back to the go back to the shrine This one? No. I was 
just to add it. Yeah, right there. Uh, rest. Oh, so we might get more spells. Cool. But either which way, I think we're going to wrap up here. And then I'll have to figure out where we're going. And then we'll start up the next episode. So stay tuned. We'll have more Black Myth Wukong coming your guys' way.